Let us end this quickly. No there is no hope for you now. Now you die! Yeah. Show them the might of breakfast! Yes. Very well. Tegan! Oh, Tegan! Are you all right? I am... better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. How dare you! If this man hadn't poisoned my husband, none of this would have happened. He should be executed. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... None. I trusted Loghain. Why wouldn't I? How could I have suspected the mage he sent would be a murderer? And Eamon knew nothing of your plans. Do you not realize what you've done, Isolde? Eamon would only demand we do the right thing. I was not going to lose my son. Not to... to magic. No. No, please. There must be another way. There must be something we can do. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires Lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. There's, there's a way. I must know it. Please, tell us what you mean, Jawan. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, 
but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Indeed. Either my son, or the sacrifice. Let it be me, then. I will give my life for his... What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Then there's not much more to say. Something else will need to be done. My son awaits your decision. Make it quickly. It isn't his fault. He just tried to help his father. Why must he pay with his life? Do not make this any harder than it is, Isolde. He has made his decision. Who says he gets to decide? I'm Connor's mother. I'm the Arlesa. This is what must be done. No! No! I won't let you do this. It isn't right. It isn't right! It must be done. The cancer must be cut out. Go and do this quickly. We must save Eamon and restore the castle. I will make Isolde understand. More foes approach! Your time to die! Uh, 
As you say, yes.
Of course. Kilde açmış ya ki sadece. Very well. Of course. Yes.
birkaç tane yaratık vardı onları indirdim. Şu ana aldığımız kahyadan aldığımız anahtarlı bir tane kapı açtım oradan yeni bir zırhtı silah atıp bir tane aldım onları bir tane almadan attım mesela bunda böyle bir şey var. Bana böyle başlık geldi buna filan bir şeyler verdim biraz. Öyle yani. Şimdi Veret de burada. Şimdi bu Veret'le kapışacağız artık. artık. Kaç denemede yeneriz kim bilir. Kaydımı aldım ben. Hadi bakalım başlayalım. Belki de bir seferde yeneriz. Şuna kesin dirilecek. Kaç tane var? 3 5 Gel bakalım. Go away. She won't like you being here. She'll just try to hurt you. I know. I think the scary lady is afraid of you. She says you'll ruin everything. I can't hear her now. But she's never very far. I tried to stop her, but I can't. She said she'd help father. I didn't think she'd hurt everyone. Honestly, I didn't. What does that mean? People always say things I don't understand. But somebody has to stop her from hurting anyone else. I don't know how much longer she'll be gone for, but she's always watching. She won't let you near father. She'll just come back again, and then... Just tell everyone to stay away, especially mother. I don't want her to see me like this. All right, please hurry. All right. The scary lady went away and everyone was fighting. So I ran to my room. Then she made me come here. She wants to be near father. Because they would take him away. She says as long as father's here, people will keep coming for him. People like you, I guess. She wants to hurt you. She likes to hurt people and it, it scares me. After, after mother put Jowen in the dungeon, I snuck into his room. I found his books, the ones he wouldn't let me read. I wanted to help father. I shouldn't have tried, I guess. But mother was so sad, and I wanted to make her happy. Then the bad lady started talking to me, in my sleep. And when I would wake up, I'd have done things I didn't remember. It's all my fault. No. She's the one who does that, not me. You should go. She'll come back soon. Will father be all right? Mother said they'd send help eventually. I hope it's soon. Very well. Let's have at it! Yeah! 
Very well. It will be done. Bir iki sefer daha arkadaşlar deneyelim kaydı durdurmayayım ben eğer öldürsem kaydı durdurur kadını o iblisi öldürdükten sonra kaydı tekrar başlatırım. Yes, as you wish. Go away. She won't like you being here. She'll just try to hurt you. I'm always me. But sometimes a scary lady takes over. I feel like I'm sleeping. But I guess I'm not. I tried to stop her, but I can't. She said she'd help father. I didn't think she'd hurt everyone. Honestly, I didn't. What does that mean? People always say things I don't understand. But somebody has to stop her from hurting anyone else. I don't know how much longer she'll be gone for, but she's always watching. She won't let you near father. She'll just come back again, and then... Just tell everyone to stay away, especially mother. I don't want her to see me like this. She won't let me go anywhere, anyway. She'll get...
What do you need? It will be done. Very well. As you say. You want to die, do you? Mercy on him, he's just a boy. He doesn't deserve this. There must be another option. The Circle must know some spell, or we could bring him to the cathedral and dinner him. They, they could exercise him. Make her help me. There must be some other way. Don't kill my baby. I'm begging you. Thank you. Thank you. You won't regret this. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? It's mother. M mother. I... It hurts so bad. Oh, it hurts. It's all right, darling. I'll find a way to stop the demon. Can you stand up? A woman! If I crushed father's throat, would you watch? Would you cry? You are pathetic. No, don't. Don't talk like that. Connor, come back. Please, don't go. I'm sorry I called her mother. It hurts. Make it stop. I... I will, baby. I will. I'll make the pain stop. Please. Leave me alone with him. You were right. He can't be helped. As am I. I am his mother. I brought Connor into this world. Let me do what must be done. I beg you.
Father, it... it hurts. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right, baby. <laughs> Just... close your eyes for another... Mercy on his soul. I wonder just how long Eamon will survive, now that the demon cannot sustain him. Will I lose my whole family, do you think? Enough. I wish to mourn my son now. Give me that at least. So it is over. Connor is dead, and the demon gone with him. With its creatures vanquished, the castle is back under our control. I thought I'd never see my brother again. My son, your nephew, is dead. Do not forget that in your great relief, Tegan. How could I, my lady? Eamon has much to mourn if he recuperates. It is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? You spoke with him, have you not? You know what he has done better than I do, even. I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. What do you mean? He is responsible for many of the problems here, and is a Malefica as well. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. It has been tried, and we will continue trying. Perhaps the demon's absence will make a difference. However, the relic is another option. My husband funded the research of a scholar in Deneran, a brother Genetivi. He has been studying the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, I sent the knights to speak to Genetivi. I hoped that he had finally discovered the location of the urn of sacred ashes itself. They were unable to locate Genetivi. In desperation, 
I sent more knights in search of the brother, or some clue of the urn's location. Eamon is well respected and powerful. He can pull Ferelden together. If you wish to fight the Darkspawn, you will need him. I must organize Eamon's knights as they return, draft new soldiers, and prepare the army to fight. I shall hand Redcliffe back to Eamon when he awakens, and in a state where it can be of some use in the coming war. Truly, what other choice do I have? I have nothing to give you, except, if we are fortunate, my brother and the armies he can muster. But for that, we need the urn. If you wish more, speak with him once he is revived. No one else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim.